What is up my darlings? My name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you my daily makeup routine. I honestly can't even believe I am standing in front of a camera right now without makeup on. I literally don't go anywhere without at least mascara. Okay, also, listen, I live in Michigan and we have been in quarantine for just over three weeks now and I have not put on like a lick of makeup since then except for the one day I filmed and then I immediately took it off. So this is going to be really strange. <laughs> Reminder, just a heads up, I am no makeup professional. This is all just for fun because I have been in my room for way too long and I'm gonna go crazy. So this is just gonna be a fun video to show how I do my makeup and what items I use. Enough jibber jabber, let's get on into the video. Alrighty, right before we start, just make sure you, if you have long hair like me, I have extremely long hair, make sure you just put it up in a headband so I can stay out of your way while you are doing your makeup. Before you put on your foundation, I always like to use a primer. Currently, I'm using the Tula Primer. Um, this was actually something my mom discovered on Instagram from one of her Instagrammers, and I honestly love it. It comes in this little tube, it's honestly almost out, so I need to get a new one, but it just pumps in your hand. You only need like a little bit. So I just use one pump, it's about that much. And then you're just going to take your fingers and then you're going to put it all over your face. And what I love about this primer too, it doesn't stink too bad and it actually tans your skin. So even if you didn't want to put on a foundation for the day, you could just put on this and it works great. I absolutely love it and it really helps my foundation stick and hold better especially if you're doing outdoor activities or you're sweating this is just really a great primer next we are going to put on our foundation i am currently using the revolution conceal and define and it's a full coverage foundation and the color is f6 it is a pale color because uh your girl's pale <laughs> um I mean, it works okay. I feel like it's a little powdery for me, but I really can't afford like the $50 foundation that actually works better. But for right now, this is okay. It feels luxurious. It's in a nice glass bottle. And then I use a brush, not a beauty blender because I feel like this works so much better and the foundation goes on smoother. It is Vanity Planet is the name and I actually got a whole set for Christmas and I do have that in my Christmas haul. I will make sure I link that video down below. But as you'll see in a, just a second, it just really works well and I believe the whole set is like $30. But I do like this foundation too because it comes like this and you can just like pat it on your skin. Also by the way, um, I don't have a mirror or anything and I'm looking at my phone right now like the glass part I'm trying to do this okay there we go okay now i'm gonna take my brush and just rub this into my skin you just do circle movements until you cover the whole area also as you could see probably my bare face um i don't have terrible acne or anything i just have a lot of redness and I have some face masks that are supposed to help with that and they do for like the first couple of days but then it just doesn't work anymore. So if you guys have any tips or tricks on how to get rid of red skin because it's like right here on both sides of my cheeks, it's just kind of annoying and I'm just really pale so I like to tan myself in the summertime but right now I currently ran out of self tanner and I really can't go to the store so I'm just gonna be pale for now but yeah. I don't know, I just get really insecure about showing my skin, and I'm sure a lot of girls do, and I really shouldn't feel like that. That's why I thought this would be a good idea to do this video to get out of my comfort zone. So make sure you get in the crack of your nose because I sometimes forget to do that, and also make sure you put the foundation on your eyelids. I feel like it really helps the eyeshadow stick. And also do the bottom of your cheeks because I've literally gone on a public and this whole side was like white. I was so embarrassed. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just make sure you get that. Your nose and your eyelids and that you kind of go up in your hairline because we don't want it to look funky. You know what I mean. 
Okay, this is kind of an extra step. If you have a foundation that's a little more powdery, dry, clumpy, it's always to go. Blech. It's always good to go with a nice setting spray, just a quick, and it just really helps set everything. Yes, we're gonna do it later too, but this just really helps refresh the face. I honestly feel like Jeffree Star or something when I'm doing this, like a real beauty guru. And this is the time I need to put the lid on and stop playing with it because this ain't cheap. <laughs> Next stop. Next stop. Are we going anywhere? No, it sounds like I want to go somewhere. Okay. Next step is bronzer. Now, oh my gosh, butter bronzer is literally the greatest thing in the whole entire world. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. So you can get this at Walgreens or Amazon. I think on Amazon it's like literally $3 cheaper. So I suggest get it on, getting it on there. And I'm just going to go in with a brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. I don't know what kind it is. But you're just going to dip into the bronzer and then I am just going to define my cheekbones a little bit more. I don't really do a whole lot of contouring because I feel like it kind of makes you look a little fake. But I'm going to go under my chin and just hit the areas. I like to bronze my nose just like that. I feel like I have a nice nose and I don't really need to like sculpt it in any fancy way. So I just kind of bronze a little bit. So that adds a little bit of character and then I'm gonna go up in my hairline a little bit and bronze that just to give it some dimension you know what I mean but honestly the cheekbones is the most important to me okay now with the same brush I'm gonna go in with the butter blush and this also works very well it's very creamy just like the bronzer and I'm just gonna dip into there and just go on my cheeks like this. Now I like to wear a good amount of blush because I feel like it brings life to your face. And if you don't have enough, I feel like you look like a ghost because again, I'm pale. I need something to give me some life, you know what I mean? I go put a little bit on my nose, a little bit here, kind of like the normal areas where you'd be a little pink. Okay, next step is the eyebrows. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't do a whole lot to my eyebrows because I really don't know what I'm doing. So, here we go. Okay, um, I use the Revlon Color Stay, and it's actually supposed to be an eyeliner, but I use it for my eyebrows. And then I also use e.l.f. glue. Yeah, it just keeps my eyebrows in place after I color them in. I think you can kind of see I have very thin eyebrows. I don't really have a whole lot going on. Oh my gosh, I hope, please, I don't have a mirror. This is very scary. Anyway, I just kind of fill in my natural hairline. If there was one cosmetics change I could do to my face, it would be to get my eyebrows done because they are a little rough. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of fill them in to the natural line. And then I'm going to take the glue later. Okay, now that they are filled in, kind of, we are going to take my e.l.f. 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 Um, eyebrow glue. I really don't have a whole lot left, but I kind of just kind of take them upwards. And then I kind of swoop them, kind of like that. My eyebrows are a little weird. They both are kind of shaped differently. So I have to try to match the shape. And that's kind of tricky. Yeah. That's basically all I will do for my eyebrows until I learn anything different. So there we go my eyebrows. Yes, I know they are on fleek. They really aren't. <laughs> Alright, we are getting close to one of my favorite parts, but first we are going to put on an eye primer. So currently I'm using the Ulta Beauty Matte Nude Eye Primer. I actually got this free with a kit 
and it seems to work fine so why would I go out and spend $30 on something new while I just have this and I got it for free so I'm going to just put literally that much and then just kind of dot it on my eyes till it covers it this just really helps the foundation stick I kind of even put it on my arch area because I will be putting eyeshadow on there too and then I'm just going to do it to the other side alrighty here we go we are coming to the eyes now today I am going to be using the new Jeffree Star palette oh my gosh it's absolutely amazing um it's part of the bloodlust collection and it is stunning OMG it's great and oh I mean come on look at these colors fantastic and also I have a mirror thank god <laughs> all right um let's get into this eye look okay so I'm gonna go for a cotton candy look this is something I love to do and these are honestly my three signature colors that I love to wear and they just go with all my outfits and it's lavender pink and blue I just think they go very well with each other and it creates such a cute look Today we are going to dip into Defiant, which is this color, and I will be using the Morphe X Jeffree Star brush, and it is JS5. So I'm just going to dip into this color. It is a beautiful lavender. I absolutely love it. And just tap off the excess, and then I am just going to do a crease. Let's get it all in the crease, just like this, until... You can do it however you want. Um, I just kind of go back and forth, back and forth until I get the color I want. But this is a really, really light purple and it's really pretty and it's really natural. It's not super dark, so it goes for a very natural but colorful look. Now that we have our lavender color and our crease, we are going to dip into Royal Pain, which is a pink color, and we are going to use the same brush for now, and we're going to put it right on the outside. And I'm just going to pat that in. This is kind of a stronger color, so just go a little bit at a time until you feel like it is the appropriate amount. Okay, for the last color, please don't be mad at me, but we are going to open up the James Charles mini palette for a blue. I know, I know, I'm probably getting so much hate right now. You can't use a Jeffree Star palette and then use a James Charles. Well, I'm going to, because this is the only palette that actually has a decent blue that I have. So, um, there's no shade numbers on this or name, so, but I'm going to dip into this light shimmery blue one and I'm going to use <laughs> the Jeffree Star eye brush, um, the name JS10. Basically, there's only one more spot to put it, so I'm just going to pat it in the blue and then I'm literally just going to press into the inner corner until I get it the way I want it pretty blue I will give James that it's a very good palette this is actually also my only palette that has any reds in it I got it because it had some weird colors that I don't have and also I know it's good quality but it's just unfortunate that I had to use them both in the video but oh well also when you get into the middle make sure that it is really blended I kind of take the blue shimmery and I kind of blend it into the pink just because I feel like that's a little easier. It looks kind of pretty. And then there you go. Before I put this eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow palette away, I'm going to take the same brush and I am going to dip into this highlighting color, which is right here. And I am going to put that right under my eyebrow and in the inner corner for a highlighter. This is really honestly a great highlighting color. It's actually my favorite I've ever had in a palette. Like it is blinding. I hope it's showing up on camera because holy moly, it is good. It is good. 
beautiful. See, I'm kind of like the girl who likes my highlighter to like blind a person's eye. Like, I wanna go pew, pew, you know what I mean? Blind them, blind the haters, you know. It also just adds something, and then I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. And I've also decided I think I'm gonna go back with a little a little bit of the same purple and pink color that I was using for a little bit of an under eye. Under eye, I cannot speak. This shows you I need to go back to school. So I'm just gonna kind of underline my eye. Give it something else. I don't usually do this either, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to experiment and try. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. I don't do this often, but it's kind of fun to try. Oh god, time for the mascara. That was really bad. Anyway, um, I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and it is waterproof. Um, this is the best mascara you will ever buy. Like I 100% recommend it. I think it's like $11 and it lasts a long time and usually it's on sale like buy two get one free. It's good. And oh my gosh, don't you love the sounds ASMR? Oh my gosh, it's just so smooth. Like it's great. The brush is absolutely perfect best mascara and it just glides on so nicely. I have pretty long eyelashes and it just makes them even longer. But make sure you get the waterproof. I don't know how girls don't wear non-waterproof mascara. Like I really don't understand how that's possible. But you see how good my eyelash already looks and this is only one coat. Usually I'll do about three just because I really like a super big thick eyelash um I also do not use any eyeliner because I feel like someone with bigger eyes like me it doesn't look as good so I don't use it and also I tried and I'm horrible with it so I just like to have really long eyelashes also something else to know about me I have never put on fake eyelashes before um, yeah, so I think I should try it out because I did buy some from the dollar store and I was thinking about doing another video and it does require fake eyelashes. So I'm going to try it for the first time on camera and that is going to be interesting. Okay, so now this is after two coats. As you can see, they're really long and they're just really full. I love the look and also I want to say don't ever, ever skip the bottom lash. Do it, okay? It makes all the difference and makes your eye whiter. Alrighty, we are towards the end of this video and next is lips. I use Burt's Bees. Um, I actually have quite a few lipsticks, but this one... I feel like it's just easy, it's pretty, and it doesn't come off super easy. It kind of actually stains your lips, and it's just a really pretty pink color. I don't want to do anything too dras dra drastic <laughs> to my lips because I don't want to take it away from my eyes. Um, the color is Sunset Cruise 523. I don't know if you can get it anymore, but I will definitely try, and if I can, I will link something that's very similar. But as you can see, it's just a really pink really cute pink color and it's just a normal lipstick uh i do sometimes use kylie but today i just felt like a more natural lipstick i did not use um lip liner i don't know why i feel like i don't need it i have pretty luscious lips so i just kind of color them i don't i don't want to be like I don't want to make them too drastic because again, I don't want to take away from my eyes. Alrighty, next is highlighter. Now this is an Ulta Beauty pack, I guess. It comes with a bronzer, two blushes, and then a highlighter. I don't have any other highlight. 
because I don't know why. Um, this one honestly works really well and I really don't have a whole lot left. So I'm just gonna use a little, just gonna try to stuff it in there. The highlighter I think that works really well is that Butter Bronzer brand and I will definitely link that one down below because I feel like that is a really great one. But as you can see, this one works pretty good. I get the highlight. Now I just like to put it on my cheekbone and then I also kind of like to drag it upwards to give it a little extra shine. But I really, really love to use a fan brush. I just got this at Ulta. It's nothing super expensive. Um, honestly, anything can work. You can use like an eyeshadow brush like the one I was using for the for these two colors, the pink and the violet. Um, it works too. But yeah, you can see I kind of like a blinding highlight. And then I will put it at the tip of my nose and all up and down it because I think it looks super pretty. And then again, I already have it up here. Yes, yeah, so you can always put a little extra. And then I will put it right above my cubic bow. There we go for the highlighter. Now we are finally down to our last step, the Morphe spray. Like again, it's really good. I think this is the best one that I've found so far. I feel like it really sets my makeup. I've actually tried it without using it and using it. And I could really actually tell a difference. So don't care what other people say. Oh, it's just water. It's not. It works so good. It just feels so good to set your makeup. That is it for my makeup tutorial. I really, really hope you guys liked it. This is my normal everyday makeup look. Um, so yeah, if you guys want another one like this, I would love to do it because I also have a, diff ugh, a couple different eyeshadow looks I love to do. So just let me know in the comments below. But anyway, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. That would mean the whole entire world to me. Um, I'm trying to grow this channel, so please, please, please help me do that. You guys should also go follow my Instagram. Um, I'm going to try to be posting more things on there, so make sure you go follow me. And one more thing, I know we're on this quarantine thing and it's getting a little crazy in the house. I understand. Um, we're all on the house board. I actually finally got a TikTok and I have been watching videos. No, I'm not posting any yet, but maybe I will in the future. But I would say this is a really, really great time to do something that you've always wanted to do, but maybe you didn't have time for. Just try something new. Because I've already done that and it has been really great. I've been doing things I never thought I'd be able to accomplish. I'm also reading books. I never used to read and now I'm reading and this is great, so please make use of this time and stay home and stay safe. I love you so, so much. Have a fabulous rest of your day. I love you to the moon and back. Bye-bye.